everyone, welcome to another Finally Friday video. This week I'm going to make the very last Valentine's Day card that's going to be over here for Finally Friday for this year. And um, I wanted to just use very traditional Valentine's colors. So I have a pink card here that's from Hero Arts and it comes with this um, matching envelope that has a really nice rounded flap. And we're going to decorate the envelope, but before we get there I thought I'd do the card. Um, I also have some pattern paper from American Crafts. This is um, cut to five and a half by two inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since these cards come pre-folded, I'm going to just cut off some of the side here so that I can put the pattern paper underneath. Okay, I cut about an inch and a half off. So I'm actually going to be putting that underneath that right there. The way I'm going to make sure that the card lines up is I'm going to take some adhesive and on the front of this one I'm going to put a strip of glue and then over here I'm going to put a strip of glue, let me get that out of the way so I don't accidentally glue something, I'm going to put it right here on this edge and that's the short edge that I've cut. Then I take the pattern paper and I'll line it up. and then close the card. And that makes it the right size for the card. And I've got a little overlap here, so I'm just gonna trim that really quick. Okay, so that matches up. I'm gonna round these corners really quick. If I can find my corner rounder, where'd it go? Don't forget to round the back. Okay. All right, the next thing we're going to do is, um, well, I'm going to show you what I have planned. We're going to put, first I'm going to do some faux stitching right here, so I'll do that in a minute. But then I've got this little um, piece of vanilla cardstock. This is very vanilla cardstock from Stampin' Up. And it's cut down to, let's see, I'm going to make sure the measurements are right, two and a half by four inches. So two and a half by four, so it's two and a half by four. And I'm going to take these American Crafts Detail Stickers, and I'm going to use that cute cupcake that's right there. Let's open that up and get that out. I love all the details on these. It's fitting that they call it details. There is a little bit of corduroy right here. It is adorable. I have to zoom in on it for you first so you can see. It is so cute. Oh, too far. I don't know if you can see the texture on that or not. It might be a little bit too dark in here. Anyway, it's super, super cute. But I'm just going to be using the cupcake part for today's card. And they come with this like foam adhesive on the back, which is awesome. Just going to put that right there. Okay. And I'm also going to use um, a stamp set from Hero Arts. This is the Trees, Birds, and Messages stamp set. And I wanted to use specifically this Sending Love Your Way stamp. Okay. is um, Chestnut Roan, I guess that's how you say it, ink from Colorbox. This is a fluid chalk ink. Let me get that straight. Oh crap, I can't. That wasn't a good idea. Back up everyone. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to imagine that's right there. I haven't thought the block would be covering it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we can move this little guy back over. Okay. Got some pretty in pink taffeta ribbon from Stampin' Up. That I'm gonna put right underneath. Okay, like I said before, I'm gonna do some faux stitching right here. 
So I'm going to use this white gel pen and I'm just going to draw in some stitching lines. Anyway, so I think I'm going to just round this one corner right here. And where did I put my corner under? There it is. Oh, my word. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, and I'm going to use some dimensional adhesive for this part. Um, this pattern paper and the American Crafts Details um, embellishment, as well as the Hewer Arts card and stamp, they're all available over at twopeasinabucket.com. Okay, there's that part. So the card's pretty much done. Just want to show you one other thing, and that is making your own lining for an envelope. So I have this pattern paper, and I've cut it. The envelope is five and three quarter inches wide, and I've cut this to five and one quarter inches. So whatever envelope size it is, make it just in you know a good half inch smaller or whatever. And what I'm doing is I'm sliding it all the way into the bottom, so it, you can kind of see the stripes through this card to the envelope. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull it out a little bit and just kind of try to keep it straight. And I'm going to turn it over while it's still centered. And I'm just going to trace around that edge. Of course, if you have a, oh gosh, careful. Um, if you have a um, rectangular edge, you know, flap on your card, it's lots easier to do this, but it's sure dang cute when it's, you know, <laughs> when it's a specialized edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to like draw in a line that's about, I mean, just kind of sketchy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, most likely they're not going to see the flap exactly like this anyway. You know, it doesn't have to be right on. Okay. And then just take some scissors your envelope lining. Okay, I'm going to test it out really quick. And I want it to come in and just go on that rounded circle part. I'm keeping the lines pretty straight. Okay, so it'll be just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some adhesive on the envelope. You want to put it on the center of the flap and then you're gonna come over here on your lining and go along the top edge, right there. Maybe a little in the middle just for good measure. Come back. And you're gonna to try to maneuver it in there without <laughs> making a mistake. You have to um, be pretty careful on this part Glue it down and then you'll be able to sort of feel along this edge where it's supposed to fold and just go along with the fold and then you'll want to crease it down really well. Okay, and there's your envelope lining. So you can put the card together and be real cute. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you all next time. Thanks so much.